Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. This morning we're going to be looking at organic chemistry and in particular we're going to be looking at polymers. And within that we'll be looking at what we call addition polymers. So, by the end of today you should be able to do the following. You should be able to recall the meaning of a polymer and a monomer. You should be able to work out a polymer given the monomer. You should be able to describe how addition polymers are made and explain some uses of polymers. So, let's go and have a look. So what is a polymer? Well, we've got a picture here of what the molecule might look like. So this is a polymer. And what it literally means is a repeating very many chain unit. Okay, so something made from lots and lots of little units. Our description though is it's a long chain with carbon made up from very many small repeat units. These repeating units are called monomers. And they're things that go and make things like plastic bags and packaging, clothing, and we'll be looking at some of those in our practical lesson. So that's what our polymer is. We're going to go on and have a look and see some examples of how we name them and also how we can identify what the monomer is from the polymer. So, how are polymers made? We've got an example here. We've got ethene becoming polyethene. And ethene here, it's ethene because there's one, two carbons in the chain, therefore it's eth. And there's a carbon-carbon double bond, so it's not ane, but ene, ethene. And there's lots of those. And then under high pressure, and using a catalyst, to speed up the reaction, we make this long chain carbon. And you can see we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons to start with, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Importantly, it's open at the end. And what that means is it would go on and on and on, making a very long repeat unit chain. So how does it actually do this? Well, we've got an example here. We've got our ethene molecules. One, two, three on the left-hand side here. And they've each got a carbon, carbon double bond. And an electron comes out of the double bond. So the double bond breaks and opens up. And it forms then just single bonds between the carbons that were there originally and makes these new bonds in red with other carbons. We don't close the end off because these chains go on for hundreds of thousands of carbon chain lengths, or maybe, sorry, tens of thousands rather than hundreds of thousands. This is ethene, and we name this then by calling it after the monomer, so it's named after ethene, even though there's no carbon double bonds in this, and given the word poly. So made up from very many ethene units. So, let's have a look at some examples. Number one here is one we've already seen before. The little n in front just means we've got very many of these. We've got two carbons in the chain, so it's based on eth. There's a double bond, so it's eth. Ene, and if we've got lots and lots and lots of them, then we have poly eth ene. So that means it's made up from very many ethene monomers. We've seen that one a few times. Let's have a look at number two. Number two, then, the monomer on the left hand side here, made up from one, two, three carbon chains. So that means, that's right, it's made up from prop. And we got one, two, three, prop, and we got a double bond, so it's prop ene. So the polymer on the right hand side is made up from very many propene molecules. That's right, so it's now poly propene. The third one, and importantly, is just from a paper two example, so it wouldn't be assessed in your paper one for the IGCSE at Excel. We'll try and name this one. Here we've got one, 
two carbon, so based on, that's right, ETH. Carbon, carbon double bond, so ethene. And there's a chlorine as a side group, so this would be chloro. That means the polymer, that's right, is poly chloro ETH. And that's how we name polymers from their monomer. So before we go and look at some uses of these polymers, we're just going to see if we can work out the monomer from the polymer. So here we've got an example polymer. And we can see our repeat here is this little section. It's repeated three times, so our repeat... I'm not drawing a reaction here, just the repeat is this. So we've got three carbons in the chain. And to work out what the monomer looks like, well, it would have had a carbon-carbon double bond in to start with. We just put all of those atoms above and below again. This is now got three carbons, so this is prop. Got a carbon carbon done double bond, so it's prop E. That means our polymer was prop poly prop or polypropene. So we just simply find the repeat unit. And then we put a double bond between the two carbons and we move the bond either side. So finally, we're just going to have a quick look at some of the polymer uses. So polyethene that we've met so far, we may have come across many times. So things like packaging, plastic bags, bottles and containers. Polypropene. Any ideas? Okay, so things like kettles, carpets, maybe food containers. And finally, and again, because this is polychloroethene, this is actually a paper two. Answer. Perhaps you might have heard of some of this uses. Right, tended to use for clothing, pipes, and insulating tape. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the lesson. So, just to recap, you should now be able to recall the meaning of polymer and monomer. Work out a polymer given the monomer, describe how addition polymers are made, and explain some uses of polymers. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.